Stevie Nicks has revealed that she sent a letter to Lindsay Buckingham after his heart attack in 2019. If you like topical stories about the world of rock, folk, and pop music, hit that subscribe button. And we'll figure out what we need to know. Fleetwood Mac singer-songwriter Stevie Nicks revealed today that she sent a letter to her former bandmate and lover, Lindsay Buckingham, after his heart scare in 2019. The heart attack, which also damaged his vocal cords, came shortly after Buckingham and Fleetwood Mac had parted ways. Nix paraphrased what she wrote to Lindsay in an interview with the Los Angeles Times. You better take care of yourself. You better take it easy, and you better do everything they tell you and get your voice back and feel the grace that you have made it through this. Lindsay Buckingham and Stevie Nicks started working together when they were still in high school. Later, they moved to LA and recorded an album under the name Buckingham Nicks. It didn't gain chart success, but when Mick Fleetwood heard Lindsay's guitar playing as he was touring the studio where Stevie and Lindsay had recorded, he was blown away and eventually hired both of them for the new version of Fleetwood Mac. During the recording of the Rumors album, Lindsay and Stevie's love affair ended, but the two have had a very complicated relationship since. In 1977, the band met up with Rolling Stone photographer Annie Leibowitz for a photo shoot where they would all be lying in a big bed together. After the shots were taken, everyone got up except the recently broken up Lindsay and Stevie, who stayed in bed for a full five minutes, just holding each other. Lindsay says, After all that we'd been through, knowing that we loved each other, somehow we just couldn't get up. They only stopped the embrace when Mick Fleetwood came over and whispered to them, Guys, you're freaking everyone out. Lindsay Buckingham and Stevie Nicks have different stories on why Lindsay and Fleetwood Mac parted ways. Stevie said that the main reason was that Lindsay wanted to postpone the band's tour so he could do a tour of his own, while Lindsay says Stevie insisted that he be fired from the band because she refused to share a stage with him ever again after she says he smirked behind her back while she made a thank you speech at a benefit honoring the band. Stevie now says that she never planned for Buckingham to leave Fleetwood Mac and was disappointed when he left. Anytime we reformed to do a tour or a record, I always walked in with hope in my heart. And I was just so disappointed. I felt like all the wind had gone out of my sails, she said. Is Stevie Nicks paving the way for Lindsay Buckingham's return to Fleetwood Mac? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you like topical stories about the world of rock, folk, and pop music, hit that subscribe button. The things you think you'd like to know Are the same old things I need to know You and I are good as gold And we'll figure out what we need